What's going on everyone? As always, place your cross on first. No matter where you're at. No matter where you seem to be at. When God put it in your mind to speak, you speak. That's why I'm speaking right now. It's had some long time. And the Lord said, hey, talk about me today. Do this. You understand? And as always, place your cross on first. Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Hey, I've been reading Romans, man. Romans is not for the novice. It's not for the rookie. If you read Romans, man, it's deep. It's in depth. You got to think about who uh, Paul is coming at at this time again. When it first starts off with Romans, the first thing he talks about is sexual immorality. Men sleeping with men, women sleeping with men, women sleeping with women. Think about Rome at that time. That stuff was going on way back then. And that's one of the first things Paul addressed. Then he started addressing meats and this and that. But that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm just trying to tell you. Romans is straightforward, straight to the point. It tells you everything you need to know. But the thing is, if you're a beginner, if you're a rookie, you might not understand a lot of things that's going on in Romans. It takes a time to realize that we are no longer under the law, but walk in the Spirit. And most people use that to be like, well, I'm not under the law no more. Well, if you walk in the Spirit, you are under the law. But you fulfill the law with one word, love. And if you love God, you fulfill what the law says. You're not doing it because it's written. You're doing it because it's in you. Do you understand? You fulfill the works of the law naturally. Man, ain't this amazing? Ain't this amazing, people? It's in there. Read Romans. But that's not even what I'm going to talk about today. Let's go to Romans 16, 16. Salute one another with an holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. Now, I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. You see what he said? Contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. Let's say this again. Contrary to what the doctrine you have learned. Do what the Pharisees say to you out of this book, but be not like them. Let's go again. Contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. So that means you need to study sound doctrine. That means you need to understand what the true will of God is. You see, there's a lot of false prophets out here. I'm going to call them out today. T.D. Jakes. Stephen Furtick. Joel Osteen. Joyce Myers. Joseph Prince. Creflo Dollar. The list goes on, people. There are many false prophets out there and false teachers out there. What the Bible says, avoid them. He said they make long journeys to make one proselyte. And they make him worse than them. You see, a lot of people are like, I got to hear the gospel from someone. Well, according to this word, you got to hear from someone who's preaching it correctly. If not, you're going to be just like them. For they, the, they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's see who they serve. But their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches, Deceive the hearts of the simple. Now the Bible says tell you what is good. Not what you want to hear. When the Bible talks about telling people what is good, it's what's in this Bible. It's not what I feel you want to hear. I feel, I don't feel nothing. It's not about what I feel. It's not about my feelings. It's about what God feels. And he said by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts. Of the simple You know how many people are simple minded And being deceived by These such people You know how many people are doing it Read this bible Like a lot of people think Here's you smoking a cigarette You defiling your body Oh really He says to the defile everything is defiled 
alcohol, meat, bread. He said, don't defraud your brother. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if they don't eat meat, don't push them to eat meat. If they don't drink, don't push them to drink. Don't use, what's the whole old word that everybody use all the time? Peer pressure. I ain't got to peer pressure you to nothing. You understand? But when you grow as a Christian, you're going to realize it's not what goes in that defiles a man. It's what goes out of a man. People are trying to, I don't eat meats. That's on them. Don't eat them. I'm going to eat it. God provides it for me. You read the Old Testament, you can eat all types of meats. And then you read the Old Testament, you can't eat all types of meats. But the thing is, you are bought with a price. And God said if you receive something with thanksgiving, it is clean. A lot of y'all going to starve to death. Because y'all trying to figure out, y'all trying to be perfect according to the law. But Romans tell you, you can't be perfect according to the law. He said, uh, uh, Paul talks about it. I wouldn't even know sin if it weren't for the law. You understand? But when the spirit of truth came, and when God came, and when Jesus died on the cross, and he poured out his spirit, kind of opened me up to the truth. You understand? He would even talked about parts people that read the doctrine and did not live by it, but people who don't even read the doctrine and live by it. What? Spiritual. Who is his is his. But these people are false. They are accusers. They are liars. They are deceivers. And they are deceiving many. And people love them because they popular. Every last one of them, the first thing I hear come out most of their mouth is, I don't drink. Well, I drink. Happily and proudly and have no repercussions. Why can I do that? Why? How am I allowed to drink? Because the Bible speaks of it. Ain't no better for a man to enjoy all the toils and the troubles he go through in his life than to eat and to drink and to marry and enjoy the fruit of his labor. A lot of y'all ain't enjoying the fruit of y'all labor. Your consciousness. Having a form of godliness is dying to one of you deny his word. Jesus gave us a commandment. He said, as often as you do this, give honors to me. Well, I don't know people will say, he's talking about wine. Everything you do. Y'all ain't realizing. Everything you do, give honor to God. As it were for God, you wouldn't even be able to afford what you're putting in your body. Or what you're putting on it. It's for God. Give him the glory. You understand? But y'all trying to walk around in perfection and lead people. Man, I ain't never seen so many churches come up with different diet plans. How you going to keep making books? This is how you follow the word. Then the side book, this is how you get in shape. Hey, get in shape with the Lord. He said bodily exercises profit little. Hmm. Hmm. Bodily exercise don't sell your soul. Gluttony don't either. You know, I didn't see a problem with a lot of these people. And I don't like to talk about it. But I'm growing now. And right now I really don't care. I don't care what you say. But the thing is, if you pay close attention, let me read from that again. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. Now what happens after you avoid them? Let's keep going. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good works and fair speech. They think worse saving them. They ain't really got no faith. They just try to be good, keep a smile on their face. And fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Now, here's the fruit. Once you come away from them, once you wake up out of your slumber, what's going to happen once you come away from them? What's going to happen once you figure out you've been being, being deceived all these years by these false teachers, by these false preachers who want to be worshipped? Ain't trying to get you to worship God. They think they're smart. 
You understand? I ain't trying to get you to worship me. I'm trying to get you to worship the most high God. I want you to grow to a point where you don't need what I say no more. I ain't looking for followers. I'm looking for followers of Christ. I might lead you to them, but then I actually want you to follow them by yourself. I don't care how many views I get. It doesn't matter to me. As long as you get the word and they prosper in you and you grow and you, then you start spreading it too. I'm not trying to get the pool pits full. I'm not trying to get that full. I'm trying to get the souls full. Let's go back. For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad therefore on your behalf. But yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Hmm. What's your obedience? Stepping away from the crowd. What's your obedience? Not going with the flow that everybody else is going with. You're stepping away. You're walking in the spirit. You're realizing this church house is just a building. You're realizing that your body is the temple. And guess what? You're going to use your temple wherever you go. To spread the good news and the love of God. You see, a lot of y'all are stagnant because y'all are stuck in these spots. Look at this, listen to these influential speakers having a form of godliness, but denying the wonder of. How do they deny the wonder of? Through their words. You gotta be careful. You understand, people? Yeah? But then I'm gonna read this again to you one more time. I'm not going to talk to you about 20 minutes today. I ain't got nothing else to say. Just take this word and receive it. You know why a lot of y'all ain't growing? Because y'all stuck listening to these same people who ain't leading you nowhere. You know what they leading you to? Them. You know what they leading you to? Their bellies. As soon as you get away from their bellies, you're going to start feeling your belly with living waters and out of your belly shall flow living waters but you said instead of trying to trust in the preacher yeah he said how can you hear without a preacher but the bible tells you there are false teachers there are false preachers there are false prophets and you got to use your discernment to do that he said let them alone and be blind leaders of the blind if you keep following blind leaders who don't know their right hand for their left who teaching the scripture wrong you're going to start teaching the scripture wrong too. All the time you're going to start preaching the correct scripture correct is when you study to show yourself true, man. Yeah, I'm talking to you men now. But y'all women got purposes too. And y'all don't even see it. A lot of y'all following these blind leaders. And thinking y'all worldly riches is what it's all about. It's not, man. But let me prophesy to you according to the word. What Jesus just spoke to me this morning. And what Jesus is speaking to you. For your obedience. Is come abroad unto all men. I am glad therefore on your behalf. But yet I would have you wise unto that which is good. And simple concerning evil. Good and simple. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet. Shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. What do you say? Shortly. If you stay in your obedience, you stay doing what you've been doing. Branch away. I know you feel it weird. Like, Lord, God saved me through the church. Why is he pulling me away from it? He's not pulling you away from the church. He's making you the church. You see, the church trying to keep you stagnant. The church trying to keep you stagnant. I was watching a movie last last weekend called Silence. And I watched this movie and I dissected it and I was like, man, this is a weird movie. But the thing is, these, these two preachers went to Japan to try to win souls. And they had to do something. They had to put their foot and denounce Christ under a graven image. You can't denounce Christ on a graven image. That's how foolish they were at that time. And that's how foolish the people were. 
I can denounce Christ with a graven image. First of all, Christ is not a graven image. God has got a graven image. I can step on that picture all day and still serve God. That's what I got for the meaning of the movie. You see, once you wake up and you realize whom you serve, none of that is important. That temple that you go through, you think you're going to grow stronger and stronger in. You may grow stronger and stronger, but don't be shocked. As you grow stronger, you find yourself distancing, distancing from the place that found you. I've been walking this walk for about 13 years. I done tried church after church and found most of them to be liars. Why did I find them to be liars? Because they go against this word. They operate in things that are against this word. They do Easter. They celebrate Christmas. They do all these other things that contrary to the doctrine that I've learned. But it's not just about the doctrine. Spiritually, some things just irk me. And when you're walking in the spirit, some things are just going to irk you. But you know what? Let them keep irking you. Because your obedience is going to be rewarded. Oh, you think it's strange? You know, I used to go to church all the time. and uh, I go to church on a Sunday, which is not even a tr true, correct day. And uh, I miss a few weeks. And that's how I know people don't know nothing. Because the first thing you'll say is, you know, you missed a great sermon last week. You should have been here. And I'd be like, Man, I read the word every day. I study the word every day. I try to walk with the words of God in my soul every day. You are lost. You think because I didn't go to this building that I didn't get fed? You are wrong. And a lot of people are wrong. They love saying that, ridiculing people because, because they ain't going to the church house. Because they ain't filling their pockets up no more. Your money keeping them going. Your money keeping them going. It ain't about Christ. It's about your money. It's about filling their belly up. Make sure they can eat the delicacies and be around the famous folks and have a good status among men. Hey, people, wake up. When you start being obedient to the Lord, you're going to realize tithes and offerings and all that other stuff is irrelevant. Oh, man. I'm going to get chewed after this one. It's irrelevant. You know why? Because God dwells in your heart. And you're going to do the right thing. You're going to pay tithes and offerings every day. You're going to do something that's pleasing to, the God, to God every day. You're going to do your good works. Whether you pay 10%, or three it doesn't matter you're not under the law anymore you walking in a spiritual walk that they have you graduate from the church house to becoming the church house y'all like a lot of y'all afraid to become the church house y'all afraid to come to temple i remember somebody told me years ago man houston you don't behave yourself as a preacher or a teacher hmm I'm still going. I'm still strong. I don't care what nobody else say. I'm going to keep going. And guess what? I'm advising you to keep going to come to the prophets. He said your obedience has been seen. But you got to realize what was, he was talking about before that. Come out from among them. You know, a lot of people think about that means come out from among the people of the world. But it's a double-edged sword there. There are some people in the world you got to come out from too. And there are some people, hypocrites, in the churches that you need to come out from also. And your obedience will be rewarded. He said he got Satan by the neck. So keep going. That's all I got for you. Satan is going to be stumped under your feet. Behold, sit at my right hand. While I make your enemies your footstool. Hmm. Some of your enemies in the church. And some of them outside of it. But it's okay. God sees high. 
and looks down low and see what you've been doing and you're about to be rewarded. Have a blessed day.